Hey everybody! Now that you know how to find your curriculum flowchart, I want to show you how to locate your baccalaureate degree plan. So from Beaufort's webpage, you're going to select current students and then baccalaureate degree plans. Once you're on this page, you scroll down and you should see all of the 16 UNC universities. Find the one that um, you've selected as your first choice. And so, for instance, if I'm interested in tra um, transferring or going to East Carolina, I would select East Carolina. And I would choose my intended major. So, for instance, if I am interested in going to East Carolina and majoring in elementary education, if I've earned my Associate in Arts degree, I would select AA for Associate in Arts. And this is the baccalaureate degree plan, or what we'll be calling from now on your BDP. This document's going to be very important for you. This is um, the document that you need to download, save, and print. It's going to be your documentation in case there are ever any um, changes to their requirements. You'll have this as your documentation for um, any appeal that you might need. So. Um, with that being said, the way this document works is um, this shows what ECU is requiring on this side, all the courses that they're requiring to earn your Bachelor's of Science in Elementary Education. Now, on the right-hand side is the North Carolina Community College System. That's the NCCCS. That's what that stands for. So basically, this is the community college side. So any courses you've taken at the community college, you can see how they would transfer to the university. So for instance, ECU requires um, English 1100 for a BS in elementary education. So at the community college, if you've taken English 111, that would be the course equivalent for English 1100. So you could check that one off. Um, and you would go through this document to see what's required at the university level and what the course equivalent is at the community college level. Just be mindful this week of these little footnotes. Just like the CFS, CFC, your curriculum flow chart, they are important. So if you scroll to the bottom, you'll be able to see what those footnotes mean. They're going to be important, so make sure you read them. Um, this is a document along with your CF CFC, your curriculum flowchart. These are the two documents that you're going to want to share with your advisor and have conversations about. Um, they're going to help you map out your educational plan and they're going to be important for you um, in terms of saving time and saving money. So I want you to make sure you can um, locate them, download them, save them, print them, and have them with you. We will be using these in future weeks, so make sure that you um, save them in a place where you can get access to them easily. But um, these will be very helpful documents to you now for this course, but especially for the future. So that's it for the BDP. If you have any questions, please let me know.